That's me and Shadow. As soon as it came out, Shadow said, oh, text me, sis. So I said, hey, Shadow. He goes, hey, sis. I'm so f- fucking happy they made his a- his bum ass own up to that shit. I'm happy you finally get vindicated. All the things you spoke about on him are coming to light. One day, if I write a book, I'll speak on Dubai. But what people don't know is I put my hands on him after you came banging on my door. I told him, fuck you and your money. I got daughters, nigga. So how does it feel when I hit you? Bravo to you. I wrote, thank you, Shadow. I don't know if I didn't run to you or feel like you were around. I thought I was going to die. He beat me every day and forced me to have sex with him. I didn't even like and didn't let me leave the room. I never apologized for banging on your door, but I saw it. As the only chance, I was scared for my life. The way this nigga put his hands on me in Dubai, fuck out of here. Never in my life, he beat me for hours, but I'm, I was lying about that. Come on now. Get the fuck out of here, my nigga. But you want to make it about what niggas did to you? He goes, I swear, I wish I could have done more. The healing has already started for you, and all that's left is to live your live for you and your daughter. And now that it's finding out, please feel free to tell the world they can ask me to speak on it. I told Tashia a hundred times that Dubai did in fact happen. He- Why Dubai though? Let me tell you something. This nigga was going insane. He has mental illness, bro. So what happened? He, after he fucking cheated on me, kicked me out the crib at 2 o'clock in the morning with my daughter when, before, um, when he left to his little European tour with two bartenders that he was fucking, that one of them he got an apartment for behind my back. He, one of the bitch was demanding money out of him and he wasn't fucking with that. So he sent them bitches home and called me, um... I was already kicked out the house before the house got raided. He, the house got raided. He panicked. He called me, begged me, blew me up, threatened me, all this other stuff that I need to come to Dubai. My dumbass, because I loved him, I went to Dubai. I only went to Dubai to fucking no more than an hour that I was there. This nigga punched me in my head. I had tracks and so I was bleeding the first day. And then after that, he kept on putting his hands on me. And it, it it lasted two hours. The time that me and Shadow's talking about, I was unrecognizable. He wasn't letting me out the room. But I'm a fucking liar. And this nigga has the nerve to still run with the shit. Oh, she slept with so and so. This is why I did what I did. What? Are you dumb? Stop lying, my nigga. He don't take ownership. And the only reason he admitted to domestic violence is because that's what they that's what they were going to uh, charge him for if he didn't already admit to it. He didn't do it for me. He didn't do it because he felt sorry. He didn't write that letter because he felt sorry. Fuck out of here. At the end of the day, even through all of that, I still fucking hold it down for me and my daughter. The daughter that we f- f- supposed to be fucking sharing. Like, get her out of here. I'm just tired of it. That shit is corny, my nigga. He did what he did to me. Seven years. And his whole fucking year of fame, he became a fucking monster. And it got worse. And niggas want to fucking put lies out on me? Are you dumb? Yeah, I don't even care for child support. I don't... I have... I don't get, I don't receive child support. I don't even want financial help from the motherfucker just because I don't want anything that comes with him. And if that, if that even means money, I already know what kind of fucking ties and problems that brings dealing with a nigga like that. So I'll bust my ass for whatever my daughter fucking has. Don't nobody got to take care of mine and me or mine like period I make shit happen regardless my daughter don't even know who the fuck this nigga is bro the best thing he could have did 
was be a shit father for times like this so it won't fucking make a difference now that whether or not he's here today or gone tomorrow. He didn't even mention his fucking daughter, daughters in his fucking letter of, of why he should be free. He don't give a fuck. He don't give a fuck about being a father. He give a fuck about coming out, making money, and still being 6'9". I raised that fucking bum. Like, fuck out of here. He care about him. He don't care about nobody but his fucking... About himself and people that he can control around him. His mom is a fucking kawetha. His brother's always too high to fucking function. They fucking rely on him. So they let him do whatever the fuck he want. Including fucking putting his hands on me. The way he did. I'm not tweaking. Shut the fuck up. When you have someone's mother that... At this point, this bitch has known me since I was fucking 16. All right? She's known me from the time that I've been with her son up until fucking this present day. And if you're going to justify your son putting his hands on me, at least he does more for you than what his father did. You're okaying the abuse. nigga beat me and then forced me to have sex with him after and every day on that fucking trip bro i don't even know how he was able to get it hard looking at my face with two black eyes like what are you talking about i don't gotta tell no cops nothing because you know what the at the end of the day karma's gonna hit him he's not a good person this right here wasn't his fucking karma bro he was in a daycare for a whole year It was killing him not to be able to use Instagram for a whole year. That was his punishment. He told the police that himself. This nigga was taking Molly and fucking sniffing coke, bro, on God, like. What he needs is fucking help and he needs to stay the fuck away and not speak on me because I don't want... Like, don't speak on me about what the fuck you got going on, my nigga. Damn, so we just heard Dare from 6 Nines, from Judge 6 Nines, baby mum. Now, let me say this from the top. A lot of people have been, oh, she's a fotty, oh, she's this, she's that. First things first. The YB, I don't condone no hitting on women. Simple as that. I don't care what, I don't care what you got going on. Whatever you got going on, don't put no hand on women. If you want to ramp, go and ramp with big man. Yeah, that's just me personally. However, that said, listen, women have got to take more responsibility. When you're messing with Pookie, now I don't know that 6 9 did this, but let's assume he did do it. When you're ramping with Pookie, you get Pookie and Ray Ray results, yeah? If you don't want to be messing with Mr. Gangster, don't be messing with Mr. Gangster. You've got to realise if you touch fire, you get burnt. That said, no woman deserves to be hit. However, there are a number of things in place. 6 9 is one of the most famous people in the world, meaning that... I know local people around where I live who get um, uh, domestic violence stuff against them. They get dragged out. The police have come. I know random man around my area now who have been dragged out their yard on domestic violence charges. Simple as that. Spent night in the cells. My point is, if one of the most famous people in the world abuses you and beats your face up so it's unrecognisable, yeah, you should have gone to the feds, gone to the police. Now, people can sit there and say... Oh, Mano, you snitching. Now, I don't, give a, I don't give a fuck. If that was my daughter, yeah? If it was my daughter or my mum, I'd expect you to go to the police because no man needs to be putting hand on no woman. Simple as that. But that said, she didn't do that, did she? She didn't press no charges. Now, people can sit there and say, Oh, man, she kept it a hundred. She kept it a trilly. Now, that's not keeping it a hundred. That's not keeping it a trilly. If, if man wants to do big man things and put hands on women, he needs to go to jail, in my opinion. He's not, he's not serving the community right. However, she didn't do that for whatever reason. So, you can't come out, you can't really complain about them things if you're not willing to do something about it. Does that make sense? And that, that, that in terms of credibility, I struggle to, people are saying it didn't happen. People are saying it did happen. Well, if it did happen, why didn't you go and do something about it? Yeah? And the fact you didn't do something about it, that makes me think, did it really happen? I'm not so sure. But, like I said, I'm not there. I don't know either way, but 
it, she can women need to take more responsibility when you're in that kind of situation you know who your dude is if your dude likes to rant with women that them kind of cats they're all the same in as much as these people you don't go from being a, a normal person to being a ramper yeah people like to whoop women they like to whoop women from the from the jump more or less it don't take 10 years to work that one out and besides even if it does take 10 years to work that one out Listen, the first time they do it, that's it, gone. That's what it should be. Don't be breeding him. Don't be having, you know what I mean? Don't be having babies with him. Don't be doing all this goofy stuff. The minute you get that kind of sign, out of there. The problem is, like Jade, sorry, not Jade, like Sarah, what happened? She was 6 9 and she got bred. You've bred him now. So in a way, you're always going to be linked to him. And I think, to be honest, she kind of enjoys the attention. She enjoys the clout. She's always moaning, not getting paid child support. Why? And that's another thing. You say he beat you up and you didn't go to you didn't go to the police. That's the first thing. Now you say he ain't paying no child support. You haven't taken him to the agency. Take him to the child support agency and, and he will be his wages will be garnished. They'll take it for you. So she's oh oh I don't wanna I don't want nothing to do from him. I don't want nothing from him. Well you do want something from him. That's why you're on here posted up moaning. Just make your don't be you know what I mean, don't be moaning. Just go go through the if you follow the processes that are out there, you'll be alright. If you don't want to follow the processes, if you want to be gangster and, oh, I'll keep it a trill, I ain't, I ain't snitching. If you don't want to snitch, and don't complain when he whoops you, yeah? Number one, leave him. If you don't want to leave, don't complain when he whoops you again. Number two, tell the feds. If you don't want to tell the feds, don't complain. You can't, you've got to take some responsibility here. Yeah, don't breed him. Don't be with him. Don't be around him. There's loads as many things that people can do to avoid these situations. Now, like I said, I'm not sure either way whether it did or whether it did or didn't happen and also on 6 ix behalf he alleges that this woman Sarah was mashing the whole crew yeah she was loving the crew loving the crew loving the crew <laughs> Sarah was out here loving the crew she she was listen the whole, all the man all the man there the, all the nine trays allegedly 6 9 put in his letter to the judge all the nine trays were running train on his girl Sarah yeah, on his baby mum. He told the judge that. Now, for me, if a man is willing to put that in a letter to the judge, that means it's pretty serious. Or it's pretty confirmed or verified, I would have thought. However, we haven't seen no proof. And I heard DJ Academic say this, and I agree. I want to see some proof either way. Now, I've got to be honest. I did watch the full live stream. This, I only showed you a five, seven minute clip. But Sarah, if you go on Sarah, whatever her name is, 6 ix baby mum. She did a whole live stream. It was about forty minutes, and I gotta be honest, I did feel sorry for her. The way she was, the way she was, um, uh, being emotive. I don't like seeing someone upset like that. However, listen, people can. You don't know the real story. I'm not sure either way, but it's a difficult one. Having watched the video, having heard her side of it, I have empathy towards that. But that said. We haven't heard 6 9 side of it, and he's out in a day or two now, so maybe in the future we're going to find out. And if she mashed the whole crew, then in my opinion, my estimation... Now, to be honest, I'm in the middle. Did she mash the whole crew? Was she loving the crew, loving the crew? <laughs> we, don't, we don't know if she was doing that. We don't know if she was loving the whole crew, yeah? But if she was, then that's another thing, because that also ruins her credibility. If it comes out she's been loving the whole crew, then... That's one of them ones, whereas all that credibility, oh, he beat me, oh, he did this. You've got to be asking yourself now, because you, because what mine is, Sarah, Sarah swore blind that she weren't loving the whole crew. She said she swore blind, she weren't loving the crew, yeah? That's what she said. She weren't loving it. So if it comes out she was loving the whole crew, then the rest of what she said is probably a lie as well. But as it stands, I'm probably edging towards her, to be fair, in terms of believing it. But I've, I, I'm, what can I say? I'm may, maybe I'm a sucker for for spicy things, uh, maybe I'm a sucker for a, a, a sob story, a, a spicy thing, listen, the YB, there's, there's nothing more, there's nothing more that will grab someone's heart than a spicy, attractive thing with a sob story, we all, let's get it real now, we all fall for them ones there, yeah, spicy thing and got a sob story, yeah, one of them ones, not never gonna end well, is it, oh, my man, my man Pookie did me wrong, Pookie all, always be doing me wrong, come on YB, show me some love, Pookie be doing me wrong, them ones there, you know how it goes, anyway, listen, Last one I'll say is, she also said that Six Nines blaming everyone else for what happened, and it they didn't they weren't making him do it. And I've got to be honest, I'm once again on the fence there. I think it's fifty fifty. I think 
Them man, all the six, all the nine trades, all them old ass goofy people, Jim Jones and all them, what's it, Jamel Jones, Mel Murder, all them ones there, Shotty, Harv, they were not good influences. I believe, from what I've heard, he wasn't even from them ends, he wasn't even from the nine tray ends as it happened. He was from somewhere else and he kind of moved in and purchased them. So, with that respect, or from that respect, if he, if they, if he, 6 9 wasn't really their boys anyway, he was very impressionable, yeah? Meaning that he's going to pick up on their behaviour. They could have kept him in the, kept him away from that stuff. It's not their duty to do that, but look at them now. And to be honest, they're meant to be some big OGs. If they was really big OGs, what, what are you bringing a dude with purple and pink hair into your business for? Is it really a shock to find out that he, he, he couldn't, he weren't looking to do 40 years for you? Not to mention... A lot of the allegations, as an example, we know for a fact, there's no hearsay, we know for a fact 6 9 was kidnapped. Now, she says that, oh, the, oh 6 9 is moaning about all the things that happened to him. Well, he was kidnapped, he was hit upside his head. Am I, am I meant to keep it a trill for them, man? Don't, I don't think so. So, once again, it's of course 6 9 has a level of personal responsibility where he shouldn't have been involved in himself with that. But like I've said many times before... Look at six, look at the last look at six nine's last few days of freedom. He actually was coming around. He said he denounced the whole all the nine trays. He said fuck Trayway. I'm out of here. I'm leaving them old goofy wannabe whatevers and goofy ass roadmen to where they are. He split he split from them, which told which kind of tells me he was looking for a new start. Now we're gonna find out real quick. These next next month or so is gonna be very interesting. If he comes out when he's trying to be goofy again. I don't think he will be though, because he can't be around street people no more. Number one, if he is, he's probably going to get got. Number two, no one's going to want to be around him from the street, I wouldn't have thought. Maybe there are some, don't you, to be honest, there probably is a whole a whole bag of dumbass roadmen trying to sign up to get some clout. So, there probably will be some people, but the fact of the matter is, I'm got, I've got some faith that 6 9s going to keep it. He's going to keep it smart and professional from now on. Of course, you can you can dip in it. Look at Snoop, for example. Snoop ain't no road, man. Snoop ain't no... He ain't never been about it. And he's managed to get where he's got. So I think you can play it the right way. Where you keep it commercial, keep it fruity, keep it goofy. Yeah? Keep it... <laughs> you don't have to actually be doing the things you're talking about. And that's what I think he can do. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, and let me know your thoughts.